Hello students, welcome to Sources Classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the previous year questions. This one is related to ISI and this will be also be useful for DAC, JNU, IGIDR, Madras School of Economics, etc. Okay. So what is the question they are saying about the solution of the optimization problem? It's a simple question they have given. So here we will first try to draw these two diagrams. How to draw it? So like uh, 2x plus 5y, you put it equal to 0. So x and y, so if you put x equal to 0, y equal to 4. If you put y equal to 0, x equal to 10. So 0, 4, 10, 0 is the point which is passing through. So 0, 4 is here, 10, 0 is here. So the first line will look like this. Second line is x minus 2y equal to 5. x minus 2y equal to 5. So here if we put x equal to 0, y equal to minus 5 by 2. And if you put y equal to 0, x equal to 5. So x equal to 0, y equal to minus 2.5. So this is the point here. And 5 will be coming there. Okay, uh, there's a problem in the structure. Don't worry, I'm redrawing it. So this part and our first line was like this and the second line this was a part and 5. So this. Remember that uh, uh, greater than equal to shading means greater than equal to means away from origin and less than equal to means towards origin. So this is the thing you have to keep in mind. So the first equation shading area will be like this. But the problem is that the second equation doesn't have a area. So what will be the feasible reason in this particular case? Okay, so now the feasible region is this particular region. Now, all the three constants, all the three given equations satisfy the given three constraints. So maximum value of 3xy minus yq is possible when we get these two values. Okay. So the maximum value, you can cross check and put these values. So this will be 15 comma 5. Okay. Now there is an intersection point over here. There is an intersection point over here. So you can solve these two equations 2x and 5y. This also give you the solution like if you just solve it. So 2x plus 5y equal to 20 and 2x minus 4y equal to 10. If you just subtract it, so this will give you 9y equal to 30. So y equal to 30 by 9 and x also you can solve it. So that will be also a possible solution. Okay, so here the answer to this question is C. Next question we will be going now. They given that let r of r is a strictly increasing function. So strictly increasing, how to know a function is increasing? So if it is f dash x greater than 0, then it is strictly increasing. If f dash x is greater than equal to 0, it is only increasing. Okay, so uh, here in this question, let g be the inverse of the function f. So g equal to f inverse and f dash 1 equal to g of 1 equal to 1 so they done 1 the first order derivative of g at 1 so here fx equal to let fx equal to x which is an increasing function because f dash x equal to 1 f dash x equal to 1 greater than 0 so it's an increasing function so f dash 1 is also 1 gx equal to x g dash x is also 1 g1 is also 1 and g dash x is giving you 1 as well. So keeping everything under control here, so g dash 1 will be also 1. So the answer to this question is D. Next question. It's question number 17. So consider the quadratic polynomial p of x. Suppose that p of 1. So quadratic polynomial means p x equal to, you can take it like x square plus bx plus c, most common quadratic form. And uh, then we can proceed like this. Uh, they have been p of 1 equal to 3. So p of 1, remember that we need 3 equations in order to solve it. 
three, three unknowns that is a b and c so p of one is a plus b plus c and that is equal to minus three as it is given over here p of minus one equal to a minus b plus c that is minus nine and p of minus two is four a minus two b plus c that is equal to zero so here we have got three solutions on solving we get a equal to 4 b equal to 3 and c equal to minus 10. so p of x is, is a simple equation 4x is q plus 3x minus 10. so if you just uh, simplify it so it will be x plus 2 into 4x minus 5. So now p of 5 by 4 all we have to put and we have to check it with p by 5 by 4, p of 3 by 4, p of 5 by 2 and p of 1 by 2. So whichever is giving you 0 is the answer in this case. Okay, uh, then the answer if you put p of half, so this is half plus anyway this is not coming. So we have to need something which has a denominator 4, so only uh, 3 of 3 by 4 and 5 by 4 is a possibility. I will start with uh, 3 by 4 now. So 4 into 3 by 4 minus 5. So this is not possible. So only 4 into 5 by 4 minus 5. So this, this, so this is giving you 0. So whole thing will be 0. So P of 5 by 4 equal to 0 is the answer without solving the entire question as well. Okay, so in the next video we will solve some more questions. Stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.